and the Kibaki succession race in Opaya took a dramatic twist today as TNA candidate Mary Wamboy was turned away from an inspection of three key development projects in the constituency conducted by President Mwai Kibaki. Kibaki's security agents blocked Wamboy from entering the premises even after her rival Gishuki Mugambi was ushered in with arms wide open. And as KTN's Betty Chalo reports, the president may have not declared his preferred successor in public, but today's events give a strong indication as to who will get his vote. It was a day that was much anticipated by area residents and local leaders. President Mwai Kibaki was the guest of honor, and so everything that could have been done to please him was done. However, the most unexpected was the denial of access to Member of Parliament aspirant Mary Wamboy, who probably did not see this one coming. She arrived at the venue and it was all roses. Trouble started when the commanding chief arrived and as you can see, she was slowly surrounded by the president's security agents who made sure she wasn't anywhere near the president and as a permanent solution, asked her to leave. She left and in a matter of minutes, she was on the outside looking in, trying to follow the proceedings which by the look of things went on smoothly in her absence. A furious Wamboy left the venue and talked to members of the media who had been closely following the events. We don't care. This is a public place. We build this school. There's a generator which I bought it. I brought them a computer, bought a computer in that school. What they have done? Why, why do you think they are doing that? Because they want a project. Gishoki Mugambi, who is Wamboy's biggest rival for the Othaya parliamentary contest, was however welcomed into the venue and was part of the proceedings, staying close to the powers that be. This is by far the most open endorsement by Kibaki, who during the tour said that Mugambi, who has been the chairman of Othaya Development Association for 10 years, deserved a chance to continue his work in the constituency. This endorsement is expected to draw criticism among other parliamentary candidates vying for the seat, including GNU's candidate Peter Kingara and DP candidate Esau Kioni. For KTN, I'm Betty Kialo.